Friends, I wanted to do a concise review of this guitar by Grote. Uh, this is the L FLP, FLP, LPF uh, 002, which is a uh, semi hollow body, mahogany body, Les Paul type guitar. It is very lightweight. It weighs 5.7 pounds on my scales. I'm playing today through a Line 6 Helix just so I can get a really clear sound here in an echoey room. This is the uh, Fender Double Normal sound. This is like a twin reverb. This is what you could get hopefully off of that. I'm not going to do a whole lot of play. I'm just going to show you how the pickup sound. That was the neck pickup. This is the in between both of these pickups. And here is the bridge sound. You also do have the split coil option on this, so you can pull this, this knob here, the forward knob out, and then we do have the split kind of sound, right? More of that honky kind of sound, or brighter sound. If I go in between, I have this one still in humbuck and this one split, and it sounds like this. Just to show you the difference, I'll go back to humbucking for both. Here's back to the split again. A little bright, crispier sound. Then I can also do uh, the split on the top and the humbucking on the bottom. Or both of them split at the same time. Or I can do just the split up top and go this way. See here, the humbucker sounds different. One thing I want to say about this guitar from when I got it, when I received it, it was super well set up. The neck is very straight. The fret work is superb. It is a mahogany body. Uh, I don't know that anything is roasted on it, and it's very popular to do the roasted maple. This one is sort of an open pour finish. It's very, you can, the, I mean, the wood looks nice. Uh, the, the feel, the satiny feel of the neck is really nice. Uh, that's probably the coolest thing about it is the neck. It just feels fantastic. The nut is bone, and it was cut very well. The tuners seem to hold in tune really well, too. <laughs> I could go off of this normal or this um, uh, US double sound a minute and go to our British sound. And I'll make sure that doesn't peak. That's on the neck. Here's the uh, in between. And here is the bridge.
features I've not talked about yet are we do have a rower bridge back here. So you've got little uh, wheels on there instead of those sharp edges that can bind on strings. So that kind of helps the strings stay in tune as well. The humbuckers seem to work really well. I mean, if you could go up to like here, here I'm using like the Cali rectified sound on the uh, on the uh, helix. <laughs> These really nice full sounding pickups. I'm go back to like a Princeton type sound for a moment here. How do the tone knobs and things work? Well, let me show you. Um, we go. They darken up really well if you need that. Let me go to the bridge and show you. And of course, you can do any combination of the two by going to the in between and darkening the bottom pickup. Or switch it around and go the other way. So yeah, very versatile guitar. The number one thing I do like about it is the playability, the lightweightness, the fact that it's beautiful. The fret work with the stainless steel frets is just becoming a, sort of a standard now. The binding is really nice. The uh, quality seems up to par with anything that I've seen you know, from an American point of view especially when you consider this price range. This is like a $259 guitar. That is my more brief uh, review of this guitar by Grote. Mother of Pearl inlays, ebony fretboard. I could go on and on about the features. Go there and look. I'll put a link to the, in the description to the Amazon page where you can buy it or to GroteChina.com where you can read more about their guitars. I have really enjoyed them. This is the fourth Grote that I've owned. And... Uh, I just got to say, it's a lot for the money. This becomes some of my favorites, especially the Sammy Halls. Peace to all who watch.